When I was younger and I was at uh, sleepover camp, I used to play one-on-one -on -one with all the boys. I think I was about 10 years old. And uh, I used to play one-on-one -on -one with these kids and they would call me out, they'd say I was cheating or they'd call me, they'd be like, are you a boy? Like, how are you this good at basketball? And I was like, I was like, there's gonna be a change, you know? He's like, I, I was like, I got friends and they're also good at basketball and they wouldn't believe me. They called me Miss Man, that's what they said. We're starting with something, it might seem small right now, you know, and just, a, you know, 90 feet of concrete in Dorchester, but it's major. Today we have girls from across the city, across Boston, different schools, and we also have police officers from across the city. The past couple of years, three or four years, we had a lot of female victims and a lot of females that became suspects, victims, or involved in homicides or just in getting down the wrong path, and it's a, a group of people that we usually neglect. And the idea of using basketball and using skills, but more importantly, is building that relationship. All you gotta do is look what's happening around the country. That doesn't happen here in Boston. And that's because we've had a good 20 years of community policing, forming partnerships, working with the various organizations. And this is one of them. So they want us down there to give them some ice cream, help cool them down on a hot summer day while they're out there balling. broke all the girls up into groups. The theme for today is goal setting. Each group um, is working with the BPD and another coach and they're just talking about open-ended conversations about goals that they have for their life, what makes a good basketball player, what makes a young leader. It's hard because if you try to do that then someone might try to bully you. Teammates, what, what we need is trust and to believe in each other. We're all family, we consider each other sisters and that's what exactly what they said when we said family. It's, it's just so important for girls. Girls in the inner city, they can get swayed in so many different ways and they need a foundation. In basketball, we're in such an intimate school of like 10 girls. They can lean on each other, they can build a camaraderie. I think that when girls see other girls succeed on the basketball court, it gives them a lot of hope for the future. The Boston Police Department, you know, seeing where they are now in their lives and seeing how they started off with playing basketball, uh, there's definitely a hope for a successful future. Let's go, Let's go, go. Next spot. Every female and kids, we want to stay out of trouble. We don't want to be in trouble every day. So we have GP to help us, so keep helping us. It's starting with, uh, with these young kids and it's starting with these volunteers and we can get girls in the game. We can show them what basketball does to an individual and it's the most incredible thing. Yeah.